Hello, 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 and welcome. Welcome to our pre-fest gathering for Conchelle International Film Festival 2022. <laughs> Can you believe it's 2022? Happy New Year to everybody who can't believe it's 2022. My name is Magali Colleyman, Christopher Colleyman. Yeah, I got a lot of Colleymans there. I am a founder and director of this amazing, amazing festival that elevates and celebrates Caribbean diaspora and Caribbean filmmaking. Conchal International Film Fe Festival is presented by Conchal Productions. Now today on this amazing Saturday, which is freezing cold in New York City, so I'm gonna talk about New York City like cold. Today we have the honor of chatting with the winners of Conchal International Film Festival 2021's Best Leading Performer and Audience Choice Awards the amazing, talented, creative team members of Sweet Rhine, writer-producer J.R. Sterling and actress Sharando Farrell. Welcome, 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 welcome! <laughs> Hello, Sharando, how are you? <laughs> I'm very well, hi. Hi, hi Maggie, how hi. are you? I'm great, I am so happy to have you amazing artists here. How are you today? Uh, doing great, thanks. Fantastic. I'm good. I'm good. It's Fantastic. exciting for me to be here. Uh, when I got the invitation, I was like, oh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, because it's been such an amazing year. Looking forward to the opportunity to kind of chat and catch up and, you know, know what's going on as well. So thank you for having us. Thank you. And for anyone who doesn't know what's going on because you didn't come to our film festival or you didn't go to a number of film festivals where this amazing film screened and from what I see on social media, won awards. I'm gonna now show the trailer from Conchal International Film Festival 2021's winning, Audience Choice Award winning, Best Leading Performance winning film, Sweet Ride. What color should I start with, Mr. Algy? You want to see a son again? You tap me for a fool! Huh? It's a matter of fact. soundtrack the final laugh i mean if you haven't seen the film people you need to see it because that's just a taste of the amazing story that is told in this fantastic film now i started by saying this film has been in a number of film festivals jr Chirano, yes let but... me know what film festivals have you graced with your film other than conchal international film festival wow well We've been in uh, six of the festivals. In fact, we just got the recent uh, notification from the uh, Barbados Inter uh, Independent Film Festival. So that makes it 60 today. And we've been in uh, 27 countries, 40 cities, 78 uh, award nominations and 27 wins and five honorable mention. Of course, you're, you're truly a Sharando. You racked up maybe uh, seven, six or seven awards as best actress. And we have our lead actor, uh, Kadeem, uh, who's got two uh, Best Actor uh, awards, so. Congratulations, congratulations. I can't begin to say congratulations enough. So, okay, 47 countries. This was all yes. last year. Were you traveling uh, to 47 countries? 49, <laughs> what was going on with that? They're all uh, virtual because of COVID. Uh, right. First one we got in, she was in, in France. And uh, we're planning to go, but then COVID hit, so we had to uh, 
uh, the festival changed to a hybrid. And at the, at the end of the day, we couldn't travel a lot because uh, because of the restrictions. And most of the places that we actually applied to, or not most, but a lot of them were actually in different countries. Uh, Brazil, Japan, even as far as Russia. We got into Russia, India. So we had a pretty good international cycle of uh, places. That's it was, it was fantastic. That is fantastic. So our film festival was virtual. You were yes. in a bunch of film, virtual film festivals and I would love to know how you how you felt about the film festival that the Conchon International Film Festival in this land of we've got so many international film festivals online. How how, how Okay, how do we stack up? I'm gonna ask you that straight up. I'm not gonna be well, shy about that. Sure, and you can you can you can chime in, but um, I'll tell you what. As far as the uh, production quality, uh, the event itself, you felt like you were actually on or in uh, the real space. So the, the breakout rooms, the format, I think it was A class, A plus plus all over, and it ranks up with um, at the best of best of all the ones we've seen. Um, so Thank you. kudos to you and, and the team. It was an excellent festival. Thank you. Our we team was are... amazing. Well, uh, I'm and... sorry for interrupting you, Sharando. Go ahead. That's all right. No, man, it's fine. Um, so, <clears throat> sorry. When I got the opportunity um, for us to be a part of your film festival, as honored, because it was in its inaugural year, and the fact that it was so focused on telling Caribbean stories, a huge deal for me, because as a Caribbean actress currently living in the Caribbean, there are not a lot of opportunities for us to one work in film and films that matter and then to be put um, in film festivals that really give us the opportunity to shine um, because it's one thing when you're in your own space as in your own you know culture and that kind of thing and it's another thing when you have to exist in another person's culture and you have judges who don't even understand your culture who are now judging what you are bringing to the table so being able to be a part of Conchal International Film Festival for me was was supreme um, and then, of course, the win. We never expect it, you know. Um, I'd like to say, oh my God, I think it's awesome. So I expected it not, because I always assume, and I'm, and, and I know I'm right. There's always somebody else who's better. So when I get an opportunity to step into a space where I can be honored for the work that I do, but also be a light for other Caribbean actresses, whether they live locally or outside of the space, it's a huge deal for me. It's a huge, huge deal, you know. So I wish I had a film to enter again this year. <laughs> well, JR, you got to talk there. JR, yeah. what, what are you doing? We've got, stuff, we've got stuff coming. And uh, what's your submission date? Is it? Uh... Submission, the regular submission deadline is June 3rd. June the 3rd. Extended, uh, extended late deadline is July 3rd. Yeah, we'll, we'll have something by then, Sharon. The whole time. We'll... You see? Uh -huh. you see, you see, you see He's all to work, Magic. I, I just show up. Yeah, see, I'm just I the actress. I show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I bet you didn't even email him to say, give me another film role. You didn't tell him, but I, I created the space. Could you please be my agent? <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, I need my own agent. So let's be each other's agents. Booyah! Yes! I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So here's my question. Where is this new film festival that you got accepted in? Where is it? It's in Barbados. It's the Barbados. It's on Barbados. Stop. Barbados, uh, is it international? Oh, I'm sorry, Barbados Independent Film Festival. And it runs uh, February uh, 14th to 20th. February 14th to 20th. Okay, so yes. since the people who did not see your film might be thinking, should I go to this film festival? Shouldn't I? Tell them, Sharando, why this subject matter the subject matter, the themes of this film matters to people of the Caribbean. Because I'm going to sell some tickets for you people right sure. here. So <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, uh, yes, I'm supporting. Yes, we've got to support each other at film festivals. I'm supporting the Barbados Film Festival. Hit it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, because again, you know, our, our, our space is small. We are, we are, um, we're growing, we're expanding, and support is absolutely necessary because no one is an island. And today I don't live on the island, see what I did there? Never mind. Um, so it's important for us to support each other. <laughs> um, so the film itself uh, speaks 
about the scamming situation. Uh, I don't want to give away too much, you know, because I need to go out of film festival and I watch the film. But it highlights um, some of the issues that we're having locally, that we're having in Jamaica, and also across the Caribbean. It's just that somehow, because Jamaica's enough, things kind of get more highlighted when we do it. But it speaks to the scamming situation and how this affects the lives of a particular family. And uh, Scamming? The what? The what? Scamming. 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 Yes. Scamming. Okay. Right. That's why. The, that's why you heard that soundtrack, people. <laughs> right. That soundtrack told a story, people. Okay, go back to you. Back to you. Right. And my character, um, the role she plays, what she focuses on during the film is revenge. But it's interesting how she does it because sometimes when you think of revenge for loss, especially loss of loved one, um, you think, oh my God, how can I just find this person and just I don't know. In films, shoot them. In real life, I don't know. Pray for them. I'm just saying. I'm lying. But you know where I'm going with this, right? Yeah, um, yeah. But in this film, what she does is it's interesting how she seeks her revenge and how she carries it out. And it's very psychological. Um, it's very the way she plans it and executes it. But what I also enjoy about how the film is written, it is very culturally rich. So yeah. whilst you're in the film, what you're, what you're watching the film, you're learning so much more about us as a people, you know, about our history. And there's mention of slavery and there's mention of um, mental slavery back then, or physical slavery back then and mental slavery now. And so you see the juxtaposition of all of those interesting topics and all of it is interwoven in such a way that you don't even realize that you're being taught anything because you're so mm. entertained. But at the end of the day, you do walk away having learned so much more. Um, and I'm excited about the future. I said that every opportunity, I guess. I love yes. it. Yes. I love it. So when did you shoot this film? Was it 2019? Was it during the pandemic? When was it shot? It was 2019 mm. uh, in the fall. I think it's summer or fall. Summer going towards fall, 2000. September, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. Yeah, and, and it, I'm sorry, go ahead. Now, just adding that um, it's funny how when you're going through the process, but for folks who don't understand what it takes to make a film, it is easy for them to just sit back and enjoy the end product, you know? Mm. And even now when we're doing this interview, being like, oh my God, so they entered so many film festivals and they won whatever, whatever, da, 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 da. And they literally don't understand the process that you have to go through, even beyond the ideation, the development and the scripting. But physically, when you're in production, when you're on location and all the potential things that could go wrong and all the things that didn't quite work. Right. Yeah, it's literally, they don't know yes. Yes. right? Because there were a lot of things that were happening. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we'll tell, the, we'll tell the behind scenes stories another time. But there's so much work that went into it um, that after all of that is done and it is shared with the world and you see the accolades that you get from it, accolades are one thing, and you also see how you influence and how you touch lives and how you shift mindsets and that sort of thing, you know that it's worth it. You know that you're doing what you are meant to do and you can't walk away from it. Even though at the end of the day, as I said, our industry is still growing. So we're now at the 15 and the 20 million US yet. No, mm. I said yes. Okay. But you have mm. to stick with it because you know that it is something that is growing. And being able to be a part of it during the growth phase, you under, you have no idea how much that means to me. So JR, tell me something about your production company. Is this the first film that you've produced? Um, have you been on this journey of expanding the awareness of the voice of the Caribbean diaspora and the Caribbean for a while? Yes, so our uh, mission basically um, addresses uh, issues within the diaspora. What is the name uh, of your production company for uh, those who Jer want to look it up? Jerry Sterling Productions. Uh, so I think the website is Jerry Sterling Productions uh, at gmail.com. So the, uh, actually, I'll get the correction for that one. Um, Jerry Sterling Productions.com. So we, uh, the reason why I've been doing writing for a while. So currently I've got, uh, this is, that was actually the first production, but I've got four other scripts, uh, three of which are uh, pretty much final drafts uh, in a pipeline and uh, a number of um, short films. So there's uh, three shorts and four features. Um, 
and we're also exploring a, uh, an audio visual book of uh, poetry that I've written. I've been writing for the last 20 years, pretty much. So we want to get that in production as well. So things are happening. Uh, Sweet Rind, we, uh, we're planning, you know, the whole funding uh, phase. Uh, we're trying to, we do have some funds and we're trying to raise more funds to, uh, to shoot the, uh, the feature. Beautiful. Um, as soon as as soon as possible. Because there are a lot of people who don't understand the purpose of entering your film into a film festival, right? And there are a number of people who think, uh, "What? I want to just be on Netflix. I just want to be on Hulu, and I'm just going to do it." But the film festival circuit is part of the journey to. And I'm going to share my thoughts on it: expanding awareness of your work among the financing community, right? Yes. And expanding the awareness of the audience. Welcome back, Sharando. Yes. We lost you for a moment in the internet uh, matrix. I know, right? <laughs> you never know what you're going to get with this thing. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So tell me something about how did the pandemic, March 2020 and till now, right? How did it challenge you to grow as a producer, as a actress, and I know that you produce as well, Sharando. How did it force you to grow and change your process and your strategy to get your message out, to get Caribbean diaspora and Caribbean films out to the world, to the international community? You want to go, Sharando? Sure, no problem. Oh my gosh, the ladies gentlemen, stop. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, you know what I realized, finally? What this did for me personally, is it created, oddly enough, more opportunities for collaboration because there are so many filmmakers who were existing in pocket and they had ideas, they wanted to do this, they wanted to do that, but somehow with the pandemic, we were forced to find each other in a different kind of way. So even with the film festival happening, because there were a couple of film festivals that happened across the Caribbean um, during that period of time. And even with, with all of those happening, I find that we had to promote our work a different way. So it wasn't just about, you know, this is this has been happening for 10, 15 years, and so we don't know about it, we don't know about it. As the, as the smaller ones, you know, the ones who are really trying to break through, we had no choice but to find a way to find each other. And so for me, aside from being online, you know, and being forced to understand the technologies of being putting things online, it was about um, the opportunity for us to find each other and collaborate more because of last, when was it, November? I was actually in St. Martin. I was shooting a film in St. Martin. I, I was I was honored to ask to play the lead role in a film called um, and, Thank you, thank you, my girl. And it's funny because they found me on LinkedIn and what they wanted uh -huh, was somebody to help with the other aspects of it. So it's a, it's a bigger project and it's about uh, gender-based violence and that's okay. so It's about what? Gender-based violence. And so they saw my production company online and they needed to collaborate with other producers across. No, because we were more forced to use online and to go online to find each other because of the pandemic, that's how they found me. And in talking about that aspect of it, they realized that I'm also an actress. And the next thing I know, me I play the lead role. You know, when I come <laughs> there. So for me, it forced us, forced us to find each other. Yeah, yeah. How about you, JR? Well, a couple, a couple of things. Um, so because of the uh, pandemic, we couldn't get out to market as much as we should meet, you know, meet networking and so forth. So we suffered that way. But on the flip side, I uh, became a better writer. So I, well, I think at least. So I did go do more training. Uh, and now when I do write, I, I have to think in, with a mindset that how do you write and shoot uh, things cost effectively, right? So previously I'll write a scene and come to find out you need many different shots <laughs> for the same scene. I've, you know, learned to how to condense that to make life a whole lot easier. So from a technical skills perspective and writing, uh, it's actually helped. Uh, of course, I have more ideas now because if I had time to think, 
about mm. Wina, about the next step. So that part of it was good. And as Sharanda said, you know, as a technology you now, you realize that, wow. So let me kind of shift focus a little bit because, you know, we all want our films to be debuting in the big, big cities on the big screen. But I realized that streaming, for example, is, is actually more popular now. So it's just a game a little bit. So that you now you can make uh, more affordable films or, you know, film with, films with um, smaller budgets with great writing and acting. You can exploit the, uh, the streaming um, platform. Absolutely. So it kind of it opens like a lot of different uh, avenues for us. Fantastic. So tell me something. I know that you said you learned a lot. Both of you said you learned, you adjusted your approaches, you learned so much. But what did you learn that was, what did you discover? What did you find the most interesting during your experience in our 3D three day festival in 2021? Um, go ahead, Sharon, I'll leave it to you first if you, uh, if you want to. The audio, you're, you're mute. muted. You're muted, Sharanda. That's never a problem I have in life. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be sure I understand the question. You're asking specifically so, what is the. Oh, go ahead. In, 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 you learned a lot last year and the year before last, but in your experience with 2021's Conshell International Film Festival, what did you find the most useful, the thing that you learned that you found most interesting and most useful in your journey as you move forward beyond the festival? Um, hmm. Hmm. I, think I'm, I think I'm going to go back to um, the support of it um, as Caribbean filmmakers to to recognize how much we need each other. A yeah. lot happened, a lot happened, but I promise you that all of the good things that happened for me, none of it would have happened if we weren't for it. Um, because it's, we can do, we as directors, right, so is, as independent filmmakers, we can do everything, you know, because yeah. we can write it, we can produce it, we can direct ourselves and act in it. But there is nothing more beautiful than when we come together with a, behind a single idea and a single purpose. And then at the end of it, we see something and we know that we all contributed in the lane that we best exist to make this thing so beautiful and to impact the world with the work itself that we've done. So for me, it would have to be the opportunity to be able to collaborate with people of like minds and like culture. Because remember, I lived in LA for a while. And so I had to collaborate with people from different cultures. And it's very different when you are with your own people and we all understand each other, at least on a certain level, you know, and we have the same end goal in mind. So for me, it's a collaboration, no doubt, you know, and walking away, having made more connections, made more friends, you know, feel more love and be able to give more love to the industry and to the individuals. That's it for me. Yeah. That's beautiful. Well, I, I find that interesting that you would say your you would own say people your own. since there are 28 nations in the Caribbean and there are people from I think 10 of those nations at the festival and we're we all had unique backgrounds but we came together with this common through line right yes, exactly. that language could not language barriers or language differences and you know viewpoints could not break that through line and yes. yeah thank yeah. you for sharing that for, for, for me, um, I learned how connected, about our connectivity, how connected we are, right? And how vulnerable we are uh, as well. Hmm. Now, the, the festival, I'll tell you, it's, it was actually an excellent festival, but we had a lot of fun. In fact, it was a lot of, a, a lot of fun actually participating. The format, the layout was actually amazing. And as a result of the festival, it actually fostered three very strong um, uh, relationships, working relationships through the um, uh, the breakout sessions. You know, I've been able to continue the dialogue with uh, producers and people like mine. So the networking aspect was actually amazing. And, uh, you know, we look forward to, uh, to more collaboration. Thank you. That, that, you see that, that is juicy. 
that is my dream come true. You just made my dream come true on a Saturday. Thank you. I'm happy to hear that. Um, so tell me what's next. What's next? What's I know you already shot an amazing film, Sharando, and did your amazing acting and producing, and it was the multi-hyphenate Caribbean woman that we know you are. What are you guys up to now? I, I, I shouldn't use one one thing. What are you both up to now? I'm trying to be politically okay. correct. Thank you. Um, to, to, together, we are looking forward to. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 maybe you wanted to talk first, but I'm taking the first. <laughs> <laughs> so together, uh, we're looking forward to um, filming the, um, the the feature for Sweet Ryan this year. We've already been having conversations about the time of year, which is not far away, that we would like to put it together. Um, and as the actress, you know. There are certain demands that are going to be made on me, so you know, I have to go back and my start out about it. So, and I'm actually looking forward because I've seen the script and it's very physical, very, very physical. Uh, but I'm excited about that. So, I know that that's one of the things we're doing together. Um, Clinton always have something up in sleeve, always. There's always a short film here or a short film there. Because since then we've actually done another short film together, you know, and I'm I'm so excited that he continues to reach out and that I'm able to deliver. So, um, on the other side of that, um, as I mentioned, I was filming in, in Saint Martin. I could go back in a few months to complete that. But we have okay. some. Um, Myself Can you repeat I that, Sharando? You froze me briefly. Would you mind repeating what you said after Mar St. Martin? Yeah, she froze again. Your 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 audio fell out, actually, Sharando. All right, you're muted now. Yeah, now you're muted. While she's figuring out the the internet matters that all concerns us, because we love this matrix that's called the internet. JR, would you mind sharing? Would you be interested in sharing? Yes. Uh, so as you mentioned, we're uh, still in the planning mode for uh, the feature, Sweet Line. Uh, but before that, I also have uh, the audio book that I'm working on. And uh, there's another short film, which we hope to get into uh, the Kong Shell uh called uh silver silhouettes so that's the uh the next uh great short that we hope to get into the festival this year where are so you that, shooting it uh it's in, in jamaica in kingston jamaica that's the uh that's, that's the plan i love it i love it and so this is going to inspire everybody watching to go jamaica's got some productions going on i need to go check out what's going on in jamaica hmm. yes there's some we have great talent uh great writers producers so great cast and great you know so the, the, the talent is here it's just a matter of getting getting the projects together and uh executing them very exciting so sharanda we lost you briefly um you were sharing something with us that we may have missed um all right Toronto, jump back in when your internet jumps back in but there you go. All right. All right. You're back. Are you back? Are you back? Mm. Okay. Well, that beautiful smile. I love that beautiful smile. So that's a great way to go out. <laughs> okay, she's back. I'm going to give it two seconds. And then we're going to say fairly well and thank you so much. Sharando, you were sharing something when your internet decided to get sleepy on a Saturday. You... You have to unmute. Oh, she's uh... See, this, you know, you, now you know this is live, people. This is live, okay? And we keep it live. We keep the conversations live. And I've been checking. Oh, we yeah, got one message. Did we get any message? I'm checking our messages on, on Facebook and YouTube. And people are just being very, very polite watchers and viewers of our conversation. And I appreciate it. Um, okay, then we're going to wrap up this amazing conversation with a thank you. 
Yeah. Someone's okay. playing the the feedback, Someone's the YouTube playing. feedback right now. If you could take out the volume on your YouTube and your Facebook, then great. Thank you so much. And Sharando, I see that you're moving, so I'm gonna let you have a final word here. Go for it. Yes, I'm back. I'm so I'm so sorry. Um, so uh, <clears throat> sorry once again. Thank you, Madly, um, for 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 putting together the Count of International Film Festival. It's a very necessary festival, um, and obviously we had to do it online. But I'm looking forward to when we can physically be in the same space, because as you know, the energies are very different when we are in the same physical space. So I'm looking forward to that. So thank you for putting this together, and thank you for inviting us here so that we can get to talk about what has been happening you know over the year and what we have to look forward to so excited for that um, and i will definitely be involved in the festival this year in whatever capacity i am able to i just hear Juna talk about her audiobook um but i am sure he knows that um i first started as a voice actress so you know um you know because me too no no, no. i have a role i have a role for you Sharonda. don't worry i have i have your part set out i'll call you wait wait wait, wait. hold on what about my american accent hello oh, for sure yes yes i'll, I'll share the uh <laughs> i could do accents i went to I know, school that. drama but, no, no, you know, it's, that doesn't mean no, anything it, but you know there's a uh, there's quite a bit of uh material so Okay. I nice to have different. I'm teasing you, there. No, no, you're good. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Look at us finding each other and collaborating. Eh? Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. that's what I love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. And thank you. thank you. Thank so, you. And, and thank you for the note about us being on location. This year, we are definitely online back on filmocracy.com and if you haven't been checking out filmocracy.com check it out their interactive elements have like not grown it's been like expanded exponentially it's so much fun to be on that site i've attended a few events and they are once again our industry sponsor and um hopefully um maybe next year when the pandemic is less unpredictable um, we will venture, or maybe this year, who knows if someone wants to donate a theater for us in some beautiful location like Aruba, I think or Cedric Hill is saying, Aruba, or Jamaica, or somewhere where they want to give us an amazing theater space and great deals on hotels. You don't know. Stay tuned. That's why you got to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter to find out what's new. And um, submit your film, so submit your script. Go to filmocracy.com and find out what the requirements are. The most important requirement is that you be of Caribbean heritage or of the Caribbean. And to have a desire to create art that inspires social change. You just heard JR and Sharando talking about how they have an amazing film that inspires social change. Artivism. Yeah, that's your thing. Look us up. Thank you to everyone who attended. Thank you so much for joining us and everyone who watches On Demand, watches this conversation. Now you know about JR. Now you know about Sharando. Your community has just expanded. If you're not a filmmaker and you are a film lover, get ready to get your pass to attend our online event from the comfort of your home. All that to say, welcome. And we want to continue getting to know you better. And come back tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to be joined by Mayela Cancel of the Cairo Calumet podcast. She and I, we will be speaking at 3 p.m. New York Eastern Time. 3 p.m. New York Eastern Time. Okay, don't confuse it with St. Tomian time, Jamaican time, New York Eastern time. <laughs> and we'll be speaking with who? Martiniquez writer, director, Alain Bidard. He, his film, Re, uh, Re Reflexion, was an official Conchelle International Film Festival 2021 selection. And we're going to be talking about his new feature film, Opal. All right. I can dig it. All right. All okay. right. All right. <laughs> We All right, thank you, thank you so, so much. much and have a beautiful Saturday. You thank too. you. Bye. Guys. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Bye.